16 kilograms. Charges, Indonesia, Chinese, Taipei. Argentina, Poland, Italy. Referee, Barry, Tiger, Ireland. In the red corner, please welcome from Uzbekistan, Firujan Sadulaye. So approaching the boxing ring ahead of his fifth bout of the Junior World Boxing Championships in the 60 kilogram lightweight division is 16 year old Firujan Sadulaye. Oh, what a choice of track to accompany him. Accompany him on his way to his place of business. Roy Jones Jr., 1988 Val Barker Trophy winner at the Olympic Games. Can't be touched, and he is hyped and ready for action. Ahead of his fifth bout in this battle for lightweight gold. Please welcome Ayastadine Kayatsuzic, Andrani. Approaching the boxing ring for what is also his fifth bout of the championships, his 16-year-old Andranik Materostian. Quarter finalist at the Continental Junior Championships last year in Amman. So Andranik Mate Mateo Rostian. Four wins out of four to arrive in this gold medal bout. Three unanimous decisions in the preliminary stages and then in the semi-final produced a second round stoppage against his opponent from Jordan. Stopping Mohamed Zadeh, Abdullah Mohamed Zadeh inside the distance in round number two. It's been four unanimous decision victories out of four for Sadulayev. So we're underway then. First of three two-minute rounds scheduled in the 60 kilogram lightweight division. This the gold medal bout between boxers from Uzbekistan and Armenia. The Southpaw wearing red is Firas John Sadolayev, 16 years of age. This is his fifth bout here at Yerevan 2023. Part of an 18-strong boxing team, one of 13 men along with five women. As for the home boxer. That's the man wearing blue, Andranik Matarastian. He also 16 years of age. He won a 13 men on a 16 strong boxing squad for the host nation. Counter right hand off the back foot was a slapping shot landed by the South Korean Red, but then look at that right hand while walking forward from Matarastian. Physical clashes in the space of ring center, driving back Matarosian towards the corner. So both men fully committed to their attacks from beyond punching range. A lot of them are falling short as a result. And then such is the commitment that the boxers end up falling into one another. Oh, terrific reverse one-two from Sadolayev. Looking for a right uppercut that was blocked by good defences with the gloves from Matarosian. Left hand is an effective lead shot with a hook from Matarosian. But plenty of flailing during that attempted exchange. So the shots that landed were potent indeed from both boxes. And the 
because of the manner in which they're launching them from the belt line, from the kneecap. They're really eye-catching when they do land. There was a terrific two-shot salvo from Sadolayev in the closing stages of the first round. Neither boxer really looking to measure the distance repeatedly or consistently with the jab. Again, celebrating that combination success that he was able to enjoy. Nice movement of the head to take something off that attempted left hook from Matarostian. So it's a 3-2 split in favour of Sadolayev. Judges four and five preferring the work of Matarostian after two minutes of boxing. So into the second round then. Oh, that's a terrific right hand to the body from Matarosian. Really drove it in up into the solar plexus of Sadulayev. And again, the battle for the front foot so crucial. The two boxers almost stepping on the toes of their opponents. And you see the referee onto that infringement immediately. But so crucial is the battle for ring territory in a contest between orthodox and southpaw boxers because the boxer who has their foot on the outside controls the ring space that their opponent can move into so frenetic burst of activity but you see no accuracy behind their attempted exchanges right hand landed by Sadolev before he takes the tumble to the canvas so staccato burst of action, terrific right hand landed by Matarossian. As he turns southpaw now, an all southpaw encounter. Now he's back on the southpaw stance, orthodox stance. And as he was switching back, he was picked off by two rapid fire straight punches from Sadolayev. If you're going to switch stance and be a switch hitter, probably a good idea not to do it in punching range. As Matarossian thrown forcefully to the canvas. And now, Sadolayev operating as an orthodox boxer and then hitting on the break from Matarossian. So now it's an all orthodox affair deep into the second round. Back in his port sided stance, is Sadolayev equaled in that regard by Matarossian. All orthodox to conclude the second round. Rather messy, very physical, frenetic burst of action. But again, just as it was in the first round, the cleanest combination perhaps landed by Sadolayev. But what a fantastic right hand was driven into the body by Matarostian in the early stages of the round. But that two shot success from Sadolayev landing while Matarossian was switching stances. So remember the first round taken by Sadolayev on a 3-2 split and he's taken the second round on a 4-1 split. So we've got three tied scores of 19 points apiece for Alive because of the distribution of scores leading 20 points to 18 for judges one and three. This one has come down to a three minute shootout. The man wearing red has taken both of the completed two rounds. The first one 3-2, the second one 4-1. But because of the distribution of the scorecards, we have three tied scorecards of 19 points apiece for judges two, four, and five. Wow, this one is physical. The referee having his hands full because plenty of grappling and mauling moves being employed by both boxers in the first 30 seconds of this final round. So both boxers operating as orthodox boxers here in round number three. Solid left hand driven in by Matarossian. Oh, 
roundhouse right missed by a mile from Sladolev, and it was countered by a roundhouse right. Excuse me, Sladolev who missed and was countered. Well, only 40 seconds and change remaining in a contest that is up for grabs. And in this type of affair, a single moment of quality could well be decisive. There's a pecking single shot scored off the back foot from Sadolaev. Southpaw left not too far away. Can't fault the determination of either of these boxers. But increasing amounts of clenching and grappling, punctuating the action. Slapping left hook landed on the inside by Matarossian. And again, this is where the majority of the contest has been fought. Very untidy, very physical. As the men competing right up until and indeed beyond the final belt. Remember, three tight scorecards of 19 points apiece. 20 points to 18 for Sadaleev for two of the five scoring judges. So that means that he just has to convince one of the three observers who has it level at 19 points all to be declared as a split decision victor. Whereas Matarossian needs to convince all three of the scoring judges who had it level at 19 points apiece after two rounds that he took the third and final round. It was very messy, it was very physical. Let's get the verdict to, dis to determine who will be crowned uh, as the champion. By unanimous decision is the boxer Red Corner. A unanimous point decision victory for Fedor John Sadolev of Uzbekistan. Sees him declared and crowned as the junior world boxing champion here in the Armenian capital. Bitter disappointment for Andranik Matarossian of Armenia. But it is Firuz John Sadolayev of Uzbekistan who comes away with world championship gold. And he's been imbued with the energy to celebrate in explosive athletic fashion across the boxing ring. Absolutely ecstatic at having prevailed in what was a really hard fought physical affair. He and his coaching team delighted. Job well done by Fidus John Sadolayev to claim world championship gold here. It's a silver for Andranik Matarossian. Two boxes engaging in what was a really physical encounter in the battle for 60 kilogram lightweight gold. Fidus John Sadolayev is the champion.